The Global Positioning System GPS is a satellite-based navigation and surveying system used for the determination of precise position and time of a point using radio signals from the satellites. It works based on the principle of trilateration. Hence, it is primarily a navigation system for real-time positioning. The conventional surveying techniques make use of ground-to-ground -ground survey measurements that invites several errors and limitations. But GPS make use of ground-to-space measurements which help to overcome these limitations that are arising due to terrestrial surveying methods. GPS was originally developed for military use by the US Army and it is employed for civilian use since 1990s. In addition to the application of GPS in mobiles and car navigation system, surveying was first commercial adaptations of GPS technology. GPS is used for more accurate boundary and construction surveys. Let's check into the principle of GPS that is used for surveying applications. The working principle of GPS can be better understood by understanding the components of the whole system. A GPS system is divided into the space segment, the control segment and the user segment. The space segment consists of satellites that are placed in almost six circular orbits with an inclination of 55 degrees. Set of satellites are called as constellation. Each satellite contains four precise atomic clocks out of which one is used at a time. These satellites are the ones that transmit signals from the space based on which time and position of a user is measured. Control segment forms the vital link of a GPS system. It is used to monitor and control the satellite system continuously. It is supposed to have a ground-based monitor stations, three antennas and a master control station. The master control station predicts the satellite ephemeris and the behavior of each satellite clock. This data is forwarded to the antenna. The antenna transmits this data to each satellite at least once a day. The user segment is the third important part of a GPS system. The GPS user segment consists of GPS receivers. These receivers track four or more GPS satellites and computes its own position. A minimum of four satellites are required to determine the position of a particular point that are the coordinates X, Y, Z and the time coordinate. Methods of GPS survey Number one, a static GPS baseline. In this method, the coordinates of the survey points are recorded simultaneously by GPS observation over a known an unknown point for 20 minutes. The known point will be the base station and unknown point will be the point whose location has to be determined. So for continuously 20 minutes, the varying values of the positions of the points are determined. The data is later processed to determine the coordinates to an accuracy of 5 m. The second method is the RTK and PPK technology. RTK and PPK are two correction technologies used in GPS survey. RTK is real-time kinematic survey and PPK is the post-processing kinematic survey. There are chances that the value of position or the coordinates determined for a particular point on the Earth's surface may go wrong. So in order to check the authenticity of the value that is obtained from the GPS survey, we always have a base station or a point whose survey coordinates are already known.
So with the help of these correction technologies, the errors are determined during the GPS survey and that errors or the corrections can be applied either at the site, that is at the real time, or it can be provided after the complete survey work is performed. As shown in the figure, there are two receivers that are located on the Earth's surface. One is the base station whose coordinates are already known and the another is a receiver whose location is not known. If that receiver is moving, we call it as a rover station. Now, the base station already have the known coordinates which are the reference coordinates. Now, when the survey starts, the base station collects the signals, the radio signals from the GNSS through which it determines its coordinate with respect to the GPS survey. Now, the base station compares the new value obtained for its coordinates with the reference value it already have. Any variation is the error that is determined. Now, the rover station or the other receiver station whose location is not known already received some signals from the GNS satellites. So based on which the receiver had achieved a particular coordinate value for its location. By the time the base station which have determined the errors in the surveying or the measurement provide that error range or the correction range to the receiver so that the correction can be applied to the rover receiver also. So when the correction is provided at the site itself that is the correction can be applied during the complete survey at that time the correction technology applied is the rtk technology that is the real time correction technology is provided so rtk provides a correction for the coordinates at the real time now if all the corrections are determined and when all the surveys surveying is performed we complete the survey process and we take to the office work that is the post-processing of the survey work. During the post-processing of the survey work, we apply the corrections that have been determined during the survey. So when the corrections are performed after the survey, we call it as a PPK technology or PPK surveying method. The third method of GPS surveying is the CORS method, which is the continuously operating reference stations, that is CORS. It consists of a survey grade GPS receiver that are permanently installed in a particular location at the starting point of any GPS measurement in the area. So the GPS survey equipment collects the field data and combines it with the CORS to calculate the position. The, the figure shows CORS system as a network of stations throughout the United States and its territories that continuously record GPS signals and provide the data to the GPS users over the internet.